Securing capital for a business startup is one of the major obstacles every entrepreneur faces, particularly those in the SME sector. Within the MSME sector, limited credit access has been cited as one of the major factors accountable for hindering the emergence and growth of businesses, prompting the government to establish a medium and small enterprise fund to help players in the sector expand their ventures. One of the critical issues uh, that is uh, going to be addressed by government is uh, the issue of access to funding. As we speak, the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Cooperatives and the National Treasury are at a very advanced stage in uh, consultations with a view to putting in place a SME fund that is dedicated to the SME sector. The Principal Secretary in the State Department for Industrialization, Dr. Francis Owino, says his ministry is in talks with the National Treasury to finalize guidelines before the fund is rolled out. The government, uh, in its wisdom, has uh, decided to uh, revamp and review uh, the operating environment of the SME sector uh, by providing a policy framework that will address all the emerging issues. The MSE fund, he says, will come in handy to augment other affirmative action funds, among them the Youth Enterprise Fund, Women's Enterprise Fund, and the National Government Affirmative Action Fund to ensure entrepreneurs have access to credit. Speaking in Kisumu during a stakeholders' consultative forum on the draft MSME policy, Dr. Uwino said the process is expected to be concluded by the end of March this year. He added that 37 constituency industrial development centers across the country have been revived and equipped with machines to navigate this project. We are also uh, reviving the constituency industrial development centers. As we speak, 37 of them across the country have already been uh, refurbished. We are sending out lathe machines uh, to the centers to enable our, our, uh, our entrepreneurs uh, get services uh, closer to them. The ministry has embarked on formulating standards for various products in the MSME sector to ensure their competitiveness in the market. Fiona Shuru for Channel One Business News.